Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play. Guys, we are going to take a quick break from our little base building adventures, our base building shenanigans. Uh, you guys might have known in the last two episodes I have been working on my uh, Iron Golem farm. So if this raid is very, very quick because uh, it happens to be a vault raid, I got sold. It got sold in my mail. The guy asked me not to say his name, but you know who you are. Uh, his name starts with a T. So uh, if, you, if you guys sold me your uh, cords and, you, and your name is a T, I am doing that raid for you today. And he said that it was his friend's vault. So that's why I can't, I can't say that, uh, I can't say, I, I can't give him a proper shout out because uh, he's betraying one of his friends, I guess. So yeah, so we'll see how good this raid is. Um, I have uh, set a home over there. I've built out and right before I got to it, I started recording and I just had headed back over here. So if this vault raid is too fast because it is in another, uh, we will be uh, just continuing continuing our iron golem farm towards the end of this video and uh, let's get right to it so I need to go to the warp shop I need to get more wood or I need to get more cobblestone because I did run out of stuff to build off of so I'm just gonna grab three I'll just grab five stacks and then home raid to actually let's go home new base do I have any chests do I have chests set up for me to dump stuff in um, okay those are pretty empty Yes. Yeah, so, oh, and then I have stuff here. All right. So let's make let's make a couple more. I'm still in vanish. Let's make a couple more uh, chests, actually, and then we can uh, after we make more chests, we can s go ahead and head on off into the raid. I just want to make sure I have enough. Uh, I have enough stuff to actually be able to dump stuff off after the raid or during the raid. So here's 64 chests. We could just fill the rest of this wall for now. Um, so Pello managed to save some of the stuff from our old base, and uh, let's see, let's see what he got so far. So we got, so we still have some prop four. We got some, uh, what's it called? Stack potions right there. So there's a decent amount of prop four. Why did I put that there? So there's, we still have prop four. I love you, Pello, and he saved some of my friggin' enchanting bottles. Good. All right, so we still have some stuff. We're not 100% fully broke. We got some uh, decent amount of stuff here, but we're going to go ahead, get some raids done in the near future while we are building this base, and then we could uh, try to make our way back into having chests on chests on chests of uh, prop four. So that's what we're working on right now, guys. Let me break this chest. All right, I'm going to use these four right here, or these eight, as my little looting area. So let's go ahead, slash home raid two. So I was building, I came from over there because it took me a while to actually get here. These freaking cords are far as balls. So we're going to go ahead and continue building off right where I left off. And it's right there. That's when I stopped uh, building off and I basically was just like, you know what? I need to record this raid just to switch things up a bit. And it looks like, as you guys can see, it's rendered in. A lot of, been, a lot of people have been using this tactic. Like there's a, there's a bunch of like wood. I've been looking around when I've been looking for raids. And there's a lot of this wood building tactic that you guys are seeing me do right now. And um, it's probably because of that tutorial episode that I put out a couple episodes ago. Like... Um, how to find raids in the bedrock layer so it's a very very nice simple tactic uh, to find a raids to find you know just so let me set home over here in case I do fall to find raids in the in the nether or even in the overworld because there's a lot of people who who don't you know who don't really claim their base and they just hope that their base doesn't get stumbled upon if people are looking if people are looking very very closely at the um, are closely at the cords and whatnot so I mean base raids in the nether are honestly very very simple it's not nothing too hard when it comes to trying to find a vault I'm almost there hopefully there's some good stuff on it quick shout outs again to the guy who sold me I can't say his name like I I want to give you guys shout outs but if you guys request me not to because you're raiding like a friend or something so uh, yeah just quick shout outs to you man you know who you are thank you for selling me the base cords I did I pay you I, I, I'm gonna have to pay you when you get and I see you online in the server because I can't pay people who are offline so um, I'll try to keep a look at on your name so let's see what we have over here we have an enchanting table we have helmets, swords, pickaxes. I, I need axes. Oh, this is just is this just an iron donator? You know what? I'm gonna take I'm gonna take one of these. Just because I need them. Oh, some pickaxes. Come on. Do we have any efficiency four? If we have some efficiency four, I'm gonna take those. Efficiency three, I don't really need those because I need I need good, amazing pickaxes in order for uh for me to be able to mine. 
my uh, obsidian fast. So we got a, we got a sharp five right there. So I'll take that. We need to start collecting on those again. Power four, but I'm gonna take all these power four bows. Holy crap! You could combine those eventually. Oh wait, that's power three, power four, power four, power four, power four. Just take all these. Yes. All right, shovels. Oh, he's got only iron shovels in here. I need some diamond like efficiency. Ooh. Look at this stuff. We got emeralds. We got that. I don't need iron. Actually, I'm going to take some iron. Actually, I'm going to take this iron because I do need it in case I need to make more hoppers. So, uh, set home raid two, home new base. And uh, I have two more raids planned apart from this one. If you guys look at my chat really quickly, I have 48 messages. Like, the amount of support that you guys give to, like, help me find raids is just amazing. And I, I actually do read through those mails sometimes to try to find raids if I can't find one myself. And I give, I try to give everybody shoutouts, you know. Like, but some people don't want to get shouted out just to not, uh, ooh, there's a beacon. Just to not be able to, for, for them to, you know, get in trouble for their friends or for their friends not to get mad at them. <gasps> Prop four set. Yes, that's prop four. Oh no, that's fire protection. Prop three, I'll take that. Prop four boots, I'll take that. XP bottles. Yes! XP bottles! Oh my god. We are my I don't know why I love bottles of enchanting, guys. Like they they just look they're the best looking thing on the server. Ooh, more obsidian too. Let's go ahead and take these. Can use that to keep building. Ooh, there's there's a lot of stuff on the floor. Holy crap. Uh, protection three, I'll take that. I'll take that. Protection three, I'll take that. I'll take those golden apples. Why not? Efficiency three picks. Should I take these potions? I sh I, I I think I should take some potions because, um, let's see. Should I take potions? Like I don't have. We had. We don't have any potion brewing stands right now, so that might be useful. Or I'll, I'll just end up. I'll just keep it there for now. Protection three. Protection four. I'll take these. Take all these good stuff. Efficiency. I'll take those gold apples as well. Yeah, so they're, I mean, these aren't strength 2 or speed 2, so I'm, it'd just be a waste of time if I took them. So I'm just going to end up uh, grabbing all the good stuff. Fire aspect 2, nothing 2 here. Power 4 bow, let's take that. All right, slash back. Can I slash back? Oh, it's force saving. It's going gonna, it's gonna to lag for a second here, guys. Give me one second. All right, let's get back in here. We've got more prop 4. we got some more obsidian. Just going to start... Um, What's it called? Label and everything. So you guys are doing amazing selling me Obsidian when you guys see me on the server. I have almost, I have three double chests right there filled. Hey, I see Snix. Look at Snix. What, what is Snix is working? What is Snix work? Oh, well, Snix is working on the platform. I love you, Snix. She's actually working. Snix is right there. So nice, nice, nice. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, as I said in the past videos, we're probably gonna make the walls about like four or five thick. And that's going to be a nice, amazing defense on the very, very outside. So uh, we'll go on ahead and uh, go back into the raid. Let's see what else we can uh, grab from this little area right here. Uh, potions, more potions. Another prot 3 set, I think. Yes, prot 3. TNT, I'll take that. I don't have a raiding chest anymore. I forgot. I need to have stuff to be able to raid people. So I'll be making those soon. Legs. Protection 3. Protection 3. So it looks like this guy's a gold donator because he has a lot of gold labeled items and um, they're they're basically protection 3 which is what the gold offers. So we got protection 3. We can combine a bunch of these once we have an XP grinder up and running and we can combine a bunch of these to actually get um, to actually combine them to prop 4. So we're pretty good on sets right now. We've got a decent amount. I want like I want my base to have like a good like 400 double chests of prop 4 or something. Like something insane. Something crazy like that amount and I'd be very, very happy. Alright, so let's make, I'm going to make this our rating chest I guess for now. I don't really know where to, I don't really know where to put all that for the moment. Uh, all the bows look like they're going in here. So I'll put that there. I'm going to keep that with me slash back. Pick up the rest of these prop 4 chest plates. So he has a decent amount of prop 4. Oh, there's another bow in here. Oh, that's the that's the iron one. Swords. Anything else? We'll just take a nice quick look at everything right before we leave this raid. Oh, another one. Oh, that's the that thingy. That's not too good. So we'll go ahead and leave the rest here. So I did. I don't think I showed the cords to this base. So I'm gonna leave it here. Hopefully he thinks that whoever based this is he thinks that it's his friend who raided it. And then we can come back a couple episodes from now and just uh basically build or try to see if we can um grab anything else from here so uh yeah let's head on back on over to our new base and uh we'll sort through some of this stuff right now 
What is Snix doing? What is she looking at? She keeps grabbing from this chest. Oh, there's obsidian in that chest. That's why. I see. Okay. So we got two double chests filled with loots, which is not too bad. Nice, nice, decent start. But we're going to go ahead. I'm going to pause the video really quickly. I'm going to plan out how I want this iron golem spawner. And then we'll do a little bit more of that build. And then after that, we will, yeah, we'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, we're going to jump straight back into our iron golem farm build. And the first thing I want to do after this little initial chest area that we made here is we're going to mark out and we're going to make the little air pocket needed in order to have a safe uh, chest walking area so hold on guys give me one second so we're gonna need a bunch of signs i made a couple off camera we're probably gonna need to make more honestly because we need one for every single one of these spots but all we're gonna do is oops the wrong spot hold on give me one second give me one second guys sorry about that all right so we're gonna place these signs just like this all the way down this area and if you guys can see this will make um so the lava layer for the lava blade of the iron golem farm will be on this third layer that means we can stand here safely but the lava or the iron golems will still be getting hurt from the lava due to the fact that there are they're three blocks tall basically so that's that's the tactic that we're going to use everybody i mean all these iron golem farms probably are basically made the same um everybody kind of uh copied off of the the designs that i showed um a long long time ago like the one the designs that retribution evil showed me how to make and then everybody are just kind of usually using some variation of that farm now which is really good because obviously i want everybody to be successful in their factions uh, series or factions life whatever you guys want to call it so it's a nice it's a nice little addition to uh, whatever other farm that they would have so i'm basically going to do this for this entire area i'm going to pause the video right here because this is very just time consuming and I, actually i'll do like half of it so you just have to i'll just keep talking and rambling and whatnot and uh, so after you do all these uh, signs, what you do next after this, why are these signs like disappearing? After you place all these signs, what you're going to want to do, obviously, is to try to make the walls for your actual uh, iron golem cage. So um, what I mean by that is all the walls on the outside, so the walls that are going to go straight up or into however tall your farm is going to be, you guys are going to want to have that as your, uh, you're going to want to have that as like right after the after the sign so you can place the lava without the lava getting everywhere and um the, a lot of people in the comment section you guys were asking how big my base is right now and this current area right here is a two by two chunk so there's four total chunks claimed um and then we're probably going to even make it bigger with the added defenses and uh yeah um i'm going to actually pause the video right here as i, as I was saying uh, i'm going to make more signs i'm going to finish this off this little section because this sign part is pretty boring so we'll be right back guys thank you guys if you guys are enjoying make sure you guys hit that like button and uh leave a comment in the comment sections below if you guys have any other tips for me to do or if you guys have any other of those challenges for factions so yeah leave it in the comment sections below we'll be right back guys i'm going to finish this off camera and then we can go ahead and start building the walls all right guys we are back and we're going to be finishing off these last two rows really quickly i hate placing down signs this thing takes friggin forever and if you have an even bigger farm than this i feel very very sorry for you because it just it just takes forever for these uh actual um to, for, for them to play I mean it's not hard to place the signs down it's just so time consuming and it's really really annoying so uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do this and I might actually want to head on over I said I was gonna do the walls but I'll probably end up doing that off of camera because it's really really simple to make walls I'll probably get some glass and then after I get the glass I will just be able to um, do the walls all made of glass so you guys can see into the actual spawner itself but what i'm going to do before i do that is i'm going to grab some cobblestone i think i do i where did i put the cobblestone uh right here they are so i'm going to grab some of these blocks actually and i'm actually going to try to um I'm going to try to map out and make sure that this is the right dimensions because I haven't really checked out exactly how how big or how wide I want this uh, entire farm to be. So we're going to go ahead and check. Um, let's see. We're going to go ahead and check if we could do this. So that means we're going to head on up here. Um, how far do I want to do this, actually? I should have counted. Oh, wait. I had a stack of cobblestone. Right? Well, let's just dig back down. I have to count 20 blocks up above this little drop area here. So I'm going to go run back down just to make sure I have it counted correctly. So how I do my farms, I normally go 20 blocks 
above uh, this this little layer right here. So we're just gonna count to twenty. Is this is this glitched? Oh no, there we go. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So this means that on this layer, this is where we're gonna have all of the iron golem spawners themselves. So we're gonna go ahead, and then if this is twenty, we want the roof to be about on this layer. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, Snakes is watching me like I'm crazy. <laughs> I probably am a little bit crazy. Snakes don't know what. All right, so this is two away from the wall that way, two away from the wall that way. Our first spawner is going to be in that block right there. So this is our first spawner right here. We're going to go two blocks this way and then put another spawner down. So actually, let's make, yeah, let's make the stone the spawner. So we're kind of just pre-planning everything right now. Stone ones will be the spawners, and then we'll go ahead and replace this. So we can try to... I'm kind of just estimating how many we can fit into here because I'm not doing the same exact... Um the same exact dimensions as my last as my last farm. So I'm making sure that they all at least fit into here. And it looks like if this is the very, very bottom, one, two, and then this will be a wall right here. So this is actually looking really, really perfect. I think I actually made this out to be really, really good looking. So we're going to go ahead and just continue... I'm gonna probably have to break those down in the future. Um, I haven't made the lava blade yet because I, I could actually place the spawners right now, but I haven't made the lava blade yet, so I don't wanna go ahead and do that. Um, oh God, I nearly fell. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and go in this little vicinity here. Oops, I made those all stone, God dang it. I just went back on my own little plan. One, two, boom, one, two, uh, boom. Oh, there's going to be... Okay, so on this, there's only one block. I should actually extend this little area right here by one more. So actually, we're going to go ahead and do that first. Um, what I'm talking about is I need to extend the chest area by one more. Is this trap chest? This is a trap chest. So where did I put those chests that I made earlier? Um, I forgot where I placed them. Here they are. So I'm going to make need to make one more layer here, and that should even out this entire farm to make a perfect 16 by 16 chunk. And then all I need to go is warp shop and buy some more hoppers. I think 64 should be enough. Uh, slash back. And we can finish off this little section here. And then continue. So I, I've planned out where, where I'm placing all the spawners, guys. Um, in the next episode, I'll probably finish off this iron golem farm. I'm going to do the glass work um, off of camera just because that takes up so much time and I don't want to have to, I mean, I already showed you guys time lapses of the actual walls, so I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do in the next episode, uh, you guys will see a glass wall, like where this uh, cobblestone layer is, I'll have a glass wall going straight up, so to actually show as like a viewing area into the farm, and then I'll also have a glass wall on this side, going all the way down, making it all the way that tall, just to make sure everything is working properly, and then we'll place all of the iron golem spawners on camera in the next one, and then we could kind of go over all the dimensions that we kind of built, and then we'll just kind of go from there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. A raid and a little bit of a tutorial for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe as always. This is D-Field. If you guys enjoyed, we will see you guys tomorrow.